right what is going on welcome to the channel all right in this video we are going to be heading down georgetown pike i'm actually taking it here from 495 <clears throat> all right so <clears throat> we're making a right and it's a it's a really foggy day out today let me actually get this up here a little bit to try to clear out the windshield all of a sudden and this is a really narrow back highway uh, and super kind of um, curvy. So we're gonna let FSD try to do its thing back here and see if it can complete the drive. I've got a couple of videos of the opposite route basically coming from the from Route 7 up into uh, 495, but this time we're gonna do it, you know, and heading back towards Route 7. So. I'm going to try to show you the most kind of notorious dangerous parts of the drive which is where we're at now kind of for like the next five minutes or so so buckle up because that's really the only rule with FSD and pay attention and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and make sure you hit this like button but hit the like button if you enjoy if you're enjoying this video um, take a look at this super like narrow curvy road and the way FSD took it. I like the way it slowed down. Um, and I like the way it can kind of adjust based on the dynamics of the road. It's not uh, just set a speed and go. Like it's it's able to slow down for, you know, really narrow curves and speed up, you know, based on that. So um, you don't want to like, of course, set it to like, 75 on roads like this uh but you know you want to keep you know an eye on it like you can set it to like 40 and it knows to kind of adjust back and forth um like here comes a really 25 mile per hour it's kind of warning us already this is a super narrow turn and uh it's kind of blind spots coming up so look how fsd is doing its thing see how it's slowed down for the turn as well um, kind of figuring out its guidance and it's doing a really good job at that this is kind of the tail end of the fall foliage that we're getting out here it's like pushing into winter time now so um, you know I'm kind of enjoying it while it lasts but as you can see you know it might get snow here soon which I'm really excited about because yes I will be bringing you FSD videos in the snow so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you can see how i don't know if i'm going to do this road well it really depends on how much snow we got of course but i will definitely try to do a georgetown pike video in the snow um as much as you know the safety allows for that so yeah i'm really like kind of at a point where i'm like bring it on because last year i had fsd and we just didn't have any snow um and the year before that is uh when i got the car and uh, i was I, I actually got into the fsd beta in march of 2022 so and i got the car in this november of 2021 so that winter i didn't have fsd but it did snow and i was really impressed with the way the Tesla drives in the snow and this is a rear wheel drive model 3 and the way it drives in the snow is like amazing I would think you know with a rear wheel drive you're gonna have some slippage and you know I was really impressed based on the weight of the car like it really has a lot of stability they have a slip start option too where you can just um, select in the menu here where um, right there is slip start under pedals and steering so just in case you know that, that might help out with a little bit of traction all right here we go with like another super curvy turn and uh, I like the way it slowed down for this and took it at a great speed with stability and uh, a little bit of confidence I'll say so yeah um, FSD has definitely come a long way in the time that I've had it, but I've, I've always liked to use this road as a course in all types of conditions like fog, rain, and 
the dark during the day, heading this direction or the other direction, and it's prevailed every single time. Um, there's been a little bit of hiccups along the way, nothing major, but it's always because no two drives are ever the same, and it really depends on the variables, like how the person in front of you is driving, and um, of course, if someone's crossing the road or something like that, so, you know, you always, you know, like, there's a sign for deer, that's another huge thing, too, like, deer can just come running out on roads like this, like, they live out here, so... And if you're from this area, you know, you know that this is like a prime hiking, camping area, um, especially when the weather is nice. There's like Difficult Run and like the main Georgetown, um, Great Falls Park, uh, Scott's Run. There's so many cool little crevices where you can park your car, get out and go for like amazing hike up the Potomac River and see some really cool nature. All right, check this out. This is probably the most notorious turn on the entire drive. Take a look at how FSD does its thing here, slowing itself down. I mean, look, there's no visibility at the top of this turn here. And FSD was really able to do its thing. Like here, if you make a left, this is difficult run. This is a, a really cool spot. There's a lot of people there right now. I'm surprised with how the weather is. There was almost no parking there. As you can see, you know, that's like a prime area to go camping, and uh, this is a prime road to test FSD out on, because it, it definitely did a really good job. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed that. Take a look at this nice steering action movement. Uh, it's really, you know, qu quite a thing to have computer software drive this road. Um, and for you not to have to make the, you know, steering adjustments and accelerating and braking, and it's like, wow, you know, these were, you know, it's, the, the software really takes all the elements that, like, humans use to drive with their eyes and, you know, their senses and the peripherals, um, and they're, they're able to, like, incorporate that into their software, which is amazing, you know, and just realize that like it's it's come so far but imagine where it can be in like four or five years you know and uh i wonder what the price would be do you think that they're they would raise the price of fsd because they they've raised it and lowered it a few times this they've only lowered it once to my knowledge because it used to be fifteen thousand. now it's 12 which is nice um to think about uh, and they do offer enhanced autopilot, which I think is kind of crafty as far as navigate on autopilot, which comes included with that. It does all the lane switching for you. It'll get you on and off highways, um, but it just won't do like neighborhood stops and turns like at stop signs. But like if you could just, you know, get out your neighborhood and let autopilot and then navigate on autopilot do its thing, you know, like I would say like... 80% of most people's commutes can be handled with enhanced autopilot. So if you really want to see like from like the end of your driveway or like where your parking spot is and and then let the car be autonomous from there, then FSD is definitely for you. Um yeah. So it you know, at one point when I got the car, FSD uh, wasn't even available on the highway. It was only available on roads like this, actually, in neighborhoods. Um, and then eventually, when B11 came around, they offered FSD on the highway. So that way, it was one software for pretty much all the roads. So it didn't switch like you would get with enhanced autopilot. I guess you have to kind of experience that a few times uh, to get the difference. Um, if anyone has enhanced autopilot, they know how it switches back and forth. But once you have FSD, you're going to be basically using one software for all the roads. And it's really cool how they, you know, built a system. And as time goes by, it gets tweaked and it only improves based on all the people driving and the data collected and the snags that they ran into and some of the accomplishments that they made. And, you know, they kind of go from there. Yeah. All right.
right, so um, make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Um, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be bringing you more FSD beta drives. Uh, yeah, hit, and hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks again for watching.